From where the Huskies are getting ready for their upcoming season, we get you ready for one of the best seasons in St. Cloud State men's hockey history. Hi everybody, I'm Sam Getzinger here with your men's hockey season preview brought to you by Edina Realty. Let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. Let's remind you of last season. It was one that many will never forget as the Cardinal and Black marched their way to a 20 and 11 overall record. Those were highlighted by big wins against teams like North Dakota, almost too many against Duluth, and eventually they found themselves with a 15-9 conference record. The Huskies would then go on to take second in the Frozen Faceoff, and after a strong performance in the NCAA Regionals, the Huskies made it all the way to the Frozen Four. First round saw Minnesota State Mankato, and that game was an instant classic with a 5-4 win for St. Cloud State. That would push them to the Huskies' first national championship game in school history. Now we all know the outcome against UMass, but luckily for St. Cloud State, the roster for this season is almost exactly like the one from last season. This includes five seniors in goaltender David Rennick, forwards Kevin Fitzgerald and Easton Brodzinski, and a pair of defensemen in Seamus Donahue and Luke Jacox. These five helped contribute 53 points throughout the season for St. Cloud State. So with a roster as experienced as this one, it's hard not to believe this team can't make it back to finish the job. Luckily for these guys and for all of us, this season brings in a schedule that may be one of the best in Husky hockey history. Looking at the schedule presented by SESUtickets.com, the Huskies open up against St. Thomas for their first game in D1 history. Then in the middle of October, it's homecoming with the Minnesota Golden Gophers in what is expected to be one of the most anticipated matchups in college hockey this season. After that, teams like Wisconsin and Bemidji come to town. And if those games didn't sell you on how awesome this schedule is, don't forget about all the high-powered games the NCHC has to offer throughout the season. Leading into this exciting season, the Huskies have been voted the top dog in the conference in the last NCHC preseason poll. The Huskies were able to rack up 195 points in the voting, along with 20 out of 25 first place votes. UMD and UND come in neck and neck for second and third. Denver corralled the fourth spot, and then Omaha, Western Michigan, Miami, and Colorado College complete this season's preseason conference poll. Being atop the conference polls was not the only noise the Huskies made during the preseason. Forward Vietti Mietnin and defenseman Nick Pervix were voted on to the NCHC All-Conference preseason team. The Huskies are the only team at the conference to send two members to the preseason team this year. Pervix came in as the second highest voted defenseman to the team, right behind Ronnie Adder from Western Michigan. Mietnin makes his way to the list after being named the NCHC Freshman of the Year from a year ago. Now the question commonly asked is how can the Huskies continue their success from a year ago? Well, it starts with speed. St. Cloud showed last season that they may be one of the fastest teams in all of college hockey, leading to countless breakaway goals, wins during puck battles, and making it extremely tough to play them five on five. And like we mentioned before, with a roster as experienced as they are, the Huskies are poised to be better with age. Another factor that will help them is to continue dominance in the third period. St. Cloud State tallied 36 goals in the final frame of matchups throughout the year. They only allowed 22 goals in the third period throughout the year as well. That was the largest margin of scoring from last season. Here's what head coach Brett Larson has to say about this upcoming season. We want to play gritty and fast and skilled and, and, and be good at both ends of the sheet. That's not going to change much. So um, I thought we found an identity as a group as the season went on and and we weren't we weren't just skilled enough to be a skilled team. We weren't, uh, you know, big and tough enough just to be a tough team. We needed to be a grindy skilled team. And, I, and when we found that uh, and played that, our identity, I, I, I really liked our team. And our, our goal is going to be, be to get to our identity as early and not, as often as we can. And it's always a challenge. And that's the thing that, that's why you want to be in this league. You want to be, our players want to be pushed. Our coaches want to be challenged every, that's why you, you aspire to get in a league like this. And you know that if you don't have your best week, if you haven't done everything you, you can, if you're not prepared, uh, if you don't bring your A game, uh, you're going to lose. And so it's that constant push every week to bring the best you can because you know if you don't, there's not an easy weekend where you can get some free points. That'll wrap up your men's hockey season preview brought to you by Edina Realty. Now we want you to get down to the Herb as much as possible and get your tickets at SESUtickets.com. If you're unable to come here to one of the best venues in college hockey, you can watch us every home game on Fox 9+. Plus. 
If you want to catch the Huskies a little bit early, come to the open practice that's taking place on Sunday, starting at 6 o'clock. Once again, I'm Sam Getzinger. This has been your men's hockey season preview. We'll see you down here at the Herd this season.